Okay, fellow Big 12 fans, let's not get too excited. It looks like Big 12 expansion may be dead. All this talk about getting to Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, Utah, the four corner schools may not come to fruition. So don't get your hopes up if that's what you're looking for. Why is that, you ask? Pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and I'll tell you. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome in to another edition of Coos' Corner. Pull that chair up, grab a corner booth, pull up a bar stool, whatever makes you comfortable, and let me serve you up this shot of top-shelf college football knowledge. If you're a Big 12 fan or a West Virginia fan, this is the channel for you. I ask if you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you like this specific video, please give me that thumbs-up button. Please share it out with all of your college football-loving friends. And last but not least, please drop a comment below and let me know what you think about this topic, and that is, will the Big 12 actually actually expand and add some Pac-12 teams? There's three reasons that I think we may be getting our hopes up about Big 12 expansion. The first reason is this. I don't think the revenue difference that will come from the TV deal between the Big 12 and Pac-12 TV deals is going to be enough to justify a Pac-12 team leaving the Big 12. Do I think the Big 12 will get more money? I do, but I don't think it'll be a significant amount more. And why do I think that? Because a former TV executive said as much. Let me show you this. Former Fox executive Bob Thompson tweeted this out. He says, I think Big 12 gets 10 to 15% more than Pac-12 on a per-school basis. Just a lot more rabid fans in total in the Southwest. Ratings are good, and BYU brings a huge following. KU and K-State ranked. Texas and OU aren't. Who would have ever thought? So, Bob Thompson, a former Fox executive who knows how these things work now, he's now working as a consultant, so he's probably working on deals of his own. But Bob Thompson himself says that he expects the Big 12 to get 10 to 15% more. And you're saying, okay, Coos, well, the Big 12 is going to get more? So Pac-12 schools might want to join. Not so fast, my friend. In the words of Lee Corso, it would need to be a significant amount more, in my opinion, for schools to just up and leave the league and leave behind all the tradition, leave behind like-minded universities who share cultures, who share academic visions and, and all these other things, to go to a brand-new conference and basically start over. It would need to be a significant amount more. 10 to 15% is not a significant amount more. Now, look, in a, in a later tweet, Someone replied to Thompson's tweet and said this. Someone named R. Max said, if your mark can get the Big 12 TV contract extended, the 2025-2026 per team payout TV money should be about 38 to $40 million. $34 million for Tier 1 and 2, and then another $4 million for the Tier 3 rights. Thompson retweeted that with a quote and said this, and that would be about 10 to 15% more than the Pac-12 will likely get, assuming they figure out Pac-12 Network. So that tells me, I did the math on this. That means that the Big 12 will likely get about 3.8 million up to 6 million more per school per year. That's it. Three, so basically, to use round numbers, four to six million dollars a year more per school for the Big 12. That is not enough. I mean, look at Oregon, for example. Why would Oregon want to travel all the way to West Virginia and Cincinnati and UCF and all the way down to Texas? to play games and, and maybe spend more than four to five million a year in travel expenses, they might, they might actually lose money in the long run, right? So that, that doesn't make sense. Plus, you'd be leaving behind all your tradition. Like I said, your rivalries with Oregon State, it just it wouldn't make any sense from a financial perspective to leave for no more money than that. Now, what's reason number two? The Big Ten may not be interested in other Pac-12 schools or at least not be interested in paying them and giving them the full share of the revenue. And what makes me think that? Gene Smith, the current AD at Ohio State, was recently on. Actually, he has his own podcast, and he was recently on his podcast talking with USC Athletic Director Mike Bone. And I'm going to put a link to this interview 
in the description box. But in this interview, actually, I actually got this also from a tweet, which I'll share with you here. John Wilner, big all of us Big 12 fans' favorite Pac-12 guy. John Wilner put a link to this interview on his Twitter account back on September 29th. I just found it today. And in the, in the interview, Gene Smith says this, and I quote, there were really only two schools that made sense for us, and it's USC and UCLA. And then Wilner adds to it, if Smith isn't on board with additional expansion, it's not happening because we all know Gene Smith has a, has a big voice. He's very well respected, very popular, and let's, leave, let's, let's be honest. He's AD at Ohio State. Ohio State carries the most weight in the Big Ten Conference because they've been the bell cow of the conference for years now. Okay? So Gene Smith has a very loud voice in that room. At least that's the assumption by most around the country, including people like John Wilner, who, who would be in the know more, more so than myself. Now, notice it does say we're only two school. We're, we're really only two schools. It says we're, which is past tense. doesn't mean they're not now. But that also aligns with an article Dennis Dye did not long ago saying, yes, Kevin Warren is interested in adding some Pac-12 schools, Oregon, Washington, Stanford, and Cal. But not all of the schools, presidents, and ADs are on board with that. So it looks like their vision and Kevin Warren's vision may not totally align 100%. But a lot of the presidents seem to think that it would be dilutive to go add any more teams because they're not going to bring value to the conference. They're not going to help them increase TV revenue by bringing them in, and it would only make the pie smaller for the existing schools. So why would you add a team that's not going to add value to the league and increase your school's revenue? A lot of schools aren't going to vote for that. So the thought is, and that leads me to number three, the thought is that if the Pac-12, if Oregon, Washington, Stanford, or Cal were to leave and go to the Big Ten, they would likely have to take a smaller piece of revenue, a smaller share of the Big Ten revenue in order to make it work out. And not only, and according to Bob Thompson, who was also on the Conzano and Wilner podcast, which I'll also put a link to, he stated that he doesn't think that it would be worthwhile financially for any Pac-12 schools to join the Big Ten because they would have to take such a huge cut of the Big Ten revenue, it wouldn't be worth it. And then you add in the fact they would potentially lose out on a college football playoff money because, you know, we all know the college football playoff is now going to expand to 12 teams. The Pac-12 will get an automatic bid if, if the conference survives, which I now think it will. They will get an automatic bid, and they're going to, they would lose out on that money. And let's face it, another thing that Bob Thompson pointed out, and it makes perfect sense, Gene Smith is on that college football playoff committee with the AD of Washington State. They both voted for college football playoff expansion. Why would Gene Smith vote for college football playoff expansion and include the Pac-12's conference title, conference champion, if he was then going to turn around and kill the conference, vote to kill the conference? That wouldn't make any sense. I think Gene Smith, I think all the presidents and ADs understand how important it is. And Bob Thompson even talked about this on, in, on his Kanzano and Wilner appearance. They understand the importance of having college football, the sport of college football, strong on a national level. It's not healthy for everything to be consolidated into one or two leagues in one or two regions of the country. That's not healthy because you're alienating large portions of the fan bases, large portions of the country, passionate fan bases like the Big 12 fans, for example, who he mentioned in his first tweet. You're alienating those people. You want them to stay involved. In postseason football, is even more profitable than regular season football. So, thus, why they wanted to expand and why they want to include these other leagues because it makes more money for everybody in the end. It will make more money. The Big Ten will probably make more money by having an expanded college football playoff than they would by just adding a couple more schools from the Pac-12 and killing the Pac-12 conference. These people are thinking big picture here. They're not just thinking – they're not putting themselves in a box and just looking at one revenue stream here. The TV revenue piece is only one piece of the piece of the deal, folks. There's a lot more to it than this. So the kind of the college football playoff is going to be a huge piece of it. And they don't want to miss out on that. So I, I personally think that the, the only way the and I think the only way the Big 12 is going to be able to get any Pac 12 teams is if the Pac 12 conference 
basically dissolves, which would which would mean that the Big Ten would have to poach more teams. And it doesn't look like the Big Ten is going to do that, at least not anytime soon. Now, according to Greg Flugar on Flug Empire on Twitter and on his Pick Around the Corner uh, YouTube channel, he's talked about how I, he expects us to get some news really, really soon about future conference expansion, future Big Ten expansion. What that means, we don't know yet, but probably within the next couple of weeks, because he's also reported that the negotiation window closes, the pac 12s negotiation window closes on October the 15th. At least that's what he's, what he's reporting and what he's hearing from his sources. So today's October the 4th, so that means we would have 11 days from now, potentially, if his sources are correct, that the window will close and we will know more about the Big Ten's future plans. Will it include Amazon? Will they add more teams? Will they not add more teams? What will happen? And then we'll know more. But as it sits right now, it looks like the Big Ten will probably not be able to expand because they probably won't have, unless they unless they add some more group of five schools, which I don't really see happening. Let me know if you think this is this is makes sense. Do you think that maybe conference expansion is on hold for now? And the Big 12 is just going to be stay at 12 schools for now and just move forward with, with the way the conference is constructed? Or do you think that the Big 10 will end up finding a way to add more of these Pac-12 schools? I want to hear your thoughts on it. Also, please, if you want to support me financially, you can do it a couple different ways. You can check out my merch store. Link's at the top of my description box. You can also see it down below. See pictures of a few of my merch items. You can click on those. That will get you in the store as well. There's a join button right below the channel that will get you some perks as far as being a channel member. We'll also get you into the raffle I'm getting ready to do here in a couple weeks. I'm uh, going to put it off a week or two to give more people a chance to join if they are interested. Mountaineer Maniac level members will get two tickets in the drawing. Country Roads level members will get one ticket in the drawing, and it will be for a mini helmet of your favorite football, college football team. If you want to support me absolutely free, there's four ways you can do it. You can like this video, drop a comment below, share it with your friends, and last but not least, if you haven't yet, Please give my channel a subscribe, especially if you like Big 12 and West Virginia content because that's where I focus most of my time and efforts. I appreciate you tuning into this episode. And until the next time, and as always, Q Country Roads.